tight chest. Now, don't smile at me, my dear. I'm asking it seriously. Dinah, let's pretend you're the Red Queen. You know, I think if you sat up and folded your arms properly, you'd look exactly like her. Oh, do try. There's a dear. You're not holding your arms properly. I'll just hold you up to the mirror and you can see how soaky you are. And if you're not good directly, I'll put you through into looking glass house. Now, how would you like that? <coughs> now, if you'll only attend, Dinah, I'll tell you all my ideas about looking glass house. First, there's the room directly through the glass. It's just the same as our room. Only the things go the other way. Dinah, how nice it would be if we could only get through into Looking Glass House somehow. I'm sure it's got all such lovely things in it. Let's pretend there's a way of getting through into it somehow. Let's pretend the, wind, the mirror has gone all, all soft like God. Why? It's turning into a sort of myth now, I declare. It will be easy enough to get through. Alright. Mm. 
as a mix of flavors. Cherry tart, custard, roast turkey, ham, and hot buttered toast. What a curious feeling. My God, let me shut up like a telescope. I am. I wonder if I'll go all together like a candle. Tell 
I should think very likely you can talk. At any rate, there's no harm in trying. Oh, Max, would you tell me which is the best way out of this pool? For really, I'm getting quite tired swimming about here. Oh, Max, I'm sure that's the best way to address a mouse. <laughs> I remember at school, Brothers Latin Grammar said, a mouse. English. <laughs> I dare say it's a French mouse. Come over with William the Conqueror. Boy, my show. Oh, I beg your pardon. I quite forgot you don't like cats. Would you like cats if you were me? Well, perhaps not. But you would be so angry as all that. And I only wish I could introduce you to our cat, Dino. I think you'd take a fancy to cats if you could only see her. Why, she's such a dear, quiet thing. And and such a capital one for catching mice. Oh, do come back and I'll see if we don't talk about her if we don't want to. We indeed, and then don't talk on such a subject. Nasty, those vulgar things. My family always hated them. Don't let me hear you talk about them again. I won't indeed. Are you fond of, of dogs? Oh, there's such a nice little dog near our house. Their farmer who owns his says he's worth a hundred pounds because he catches all the rats. Oh, I'm afraid of offended it again. Oh, do come back, Mouse here, and you won't talk about cats, or dogs, or either, if you don't like them. <laughs> come, soon to show with me. I'll tell you why it is that I hate cats and dogs. <laughs> don't, 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 don't
So you try out there, sir, with no judge and no jury, be wasting our breath. I'll be the judge, and I'll be the jury, said the cunning old fury. I'll try the whole cause and condemn you to death. You're not attending. Ah! I beg your pardon. You have gone to the fifth bed, I believe. I have not. I'm not! Oh, do let me help to undo it! You'll do nothing of the sort. What a pity it wouldn't stay. I wish I had our Dinah here. She'd soon fetch it back. And who is Dinah, if I might venture to ask? Oh, Dinah's our cat. <laughs> She's such a happy one for catching my mom. I wish you'd see her out with a little bird. Why, she'll eat a little bird as soon as look at it. But I have really been like young idea. No idea it doesn't. Still my throat. Oh, I wish I hadn't mentioned Dinah. Nobody seems to like her here. But I know she's the best cat in the world. Oh, my dear Dinah. I wonder if I shall ever see you again.
because I'm on the same side of the door as you are. Secondly, because they're making such a noise inside, no one could possibly hear you. Please then, how am I to get in? There may be some sense in your knocking if we had the door between us. For instance, if you were inside with my knock, I should let you out there. How am I to get in? I shall sit here until tomorrow. Or the next day. But how am I to get in? Are you to get in at all? That's the first question, you know. Ugh! It's dreadful the way these creatures argue. It's enough to drive one crazy. I shall sit here on and off for days and days. But what am I to do? Anything you like. Ugh! I won't talk to him. He's perfectly idiotic. Well, it won't be raving mad, at least. 
things between miles. You should keep moving around, I suppose. Yes. That's the thing. So. But but when you come to the beach, it helps me to change the subject. I'm getting tired of this. I'm in love with a young lady. Tell us a story. Well, I don't know any. Then the doormat shall.
They never execute nobody, you know. Oh. Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? 
Do you know why it's called a white thing? I never thought about it before. But why? It does the boots and the shoes. Because the boots and the shoes? Why? What are your shoes done with? The blacking, I believe. Boots and shoes under the sea are done with white things. Now you know. But what are they made of? Soles and eels, of course. Any shrimp could have told me that. If I had been the white in the song, I would have said to the porpoise, keep back, please. We don't want you with us. They were obliged to have No wise fish can go anywhere without a porpoise. Wouldn't it really? No. Why, fish came to me and told me he was going on a journey. I would say to them, but what porpoise? You mean purpose? I mean what I say! Shall we try another figure of the lobster quadrant? Or would you like the mock turtle to sing you something? Oh, a song, please, if, if the mock turtle would be so kind. No accounting for tastes. <laughs> the singer turtle soup, would you all shut up? Read the accusation. 
The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them quite away. Consider your verdict! Not yet, not yet. There's a great deal more to come before that. Oh, the first witness. First witness! I beg pardon, Her Majesty, for bringing these in. But I hadn't quite finished my tea when I was in. You ought to finish. When did you begin? Uh, 14th of March, I think. Oh, 16th, 16th. Write that down, write that down. Take off your hat. It isn't mine. Stolen! Woo! I keep them to sell. I've none of my own. I'm a hat. Give your evidence, and don't be nervous. I'll have you executed on the spot. Show me the list of singers from the last concert. Give your evidence, or I'll have you executed whether you're nervous or not. I am a poor woman, your majesty, and I had to put your speak on my tea not above a week or so ago, and look at the bread and butter getting uh, so thin, and the twinkling of the tea. The twinkling of what? Cleaning into the tea. Do you think you're a dunce? Go on. I am a poor woman, your majesty, and most things twinkled after that. Only the little tail said. I did it! You 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 did that I can't remember. Well, you must remember, or I'll have you executed. I am a poor woman, your majesty! Well, you're certainly a poor speaker. That's all you have to say, you may stand there. I can't go no lower, I'm on the floor as a tea. Then you may sit down. I'd rather finish my tea. You may go. Just take your head up outside. Call the next witness. Next witness. <laughs> Your Majesty must cross-examine this witness. Well, if I must, I must. What are tarts made? Pepper mostly. Between yourself and me. A secret kept from all the rest between yourself and me. <laughs> well, that's the most important piece of evidence we've heard yet. So, <laughs> if any of them can explain it, I'll give him six pence. I don't believe there's an atom of meaning in it. She doesn't believe there's an atom of meaning in it. Well, there's 
so mean he did it. That makes things the world easier, you know, as we need to try to find any. Yet, I don't know, I don't seem to see some meaning in them. He said he could not swim. You can't swim, <laughs> can you? <laughs> Doesn't look it. All right, so far. No, that's true. Well, why ask the jury, of course? He gave him one, he gave her two. Wait, that must be what he did with the tarts, you know. But it goes on. They're all returned from him to you. Why, there they are. Nothing can be clearer than that. But then again, before she had this fit, she never had fits, my dear. Never! Words don't fit you. <laughs> it's a bond. <laughs> it's a bond. What do you know of this business? Nothing. Nothing whatever. Nothing whatever. That's very important. Unimportant, your majesty means, of course. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, important, unimportant, important, unimportant. Uh, unimportant, yes, yes, to be sure. So, let the jury consider their verdict. No, no, sentence first, verdict afterwards. Stop and nonsense, the idea of having the sentence first.
talk. We can talk when there's anybody worth talking to. And, and can all the flowers talk? As well as you can, and a great deal louder. It isn't manners for us to begin, you know. And I really was wondering when you'd speak. Said I to myself, her face has got some sense in it, though it's not a very clever one. <laughs> but you're the right color, and that goes a long way. I don't care much for the color. If only her petals curl up a little more, she'd be all right. Aren't you sometimes frightened being planted out here all alone with nobody to take care of you? Well, there's the tree in the middle. What else is it good for? Well, what could it do if any danger came? It says bow out. That's why its branches are called bows. You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Slow sort of country. 
here, you see, it takes all the running you can do to stay in one place. If you want to get anywhere else, you'll have to run at least twice as fast as that. Oh, I'm quite content to stay here. Only I'm so hot and thirsty. Oh, I know what you'd like. Have a biscuit. <coughs> While you're refreshing yourself, I'll just take the measurements. After two yards, I shall give you your directions. Have another biscuit. Oh, thank you. One's quite enough. Thirst quenched, I hope. After three yards, I shall beat them for fear of your forgetting them. After four yards, I shall say goodbye. And after five, I shall go. Upon those two squares in its first move, you know, so you should go on very quickly through to the third. By railway, I should think. And then you'll come to the fourth square. That belongs to Tweedledum and Dee. Um, the fifth square is mostly wind, and the sixth is belongs to Humpty Dumpty. But you make no remark. I didn't know I was supposed to make one just then. You should have said. It's extremely kind of you to tell me all this. However, we'll suppose it's said. The seventh square is mostly forest, and one of the knights will show you the way. And then you'll come to the eighth square. There will be queens together, and it's all feasting and fun. Turn out your toes when you walk. Speak in French when you can't think of the English for a thing. And remember who you are. She can run very fast. Goodbye. <laughs> Shoes and ships and sealing wax 
of cabbages and kings. And why the sea is boiling hot, whether pigs have wings. A loaf of bread, you all wish said, is what we chiefly need. Pepper and vinegar besides are very good indeed. Now if you're ready, oysters dear, we can begin to feed. But not on us, the oysters cry, turning a little blue. After such kindness, that would be a dismal thing to do. The night is fine, the walrus said to you in my view. It seems a shame, the walrus said, to play them such a trick after we brought them out so far and made them trot so quick. The carpenter said nothing but the butter spent to thick. I weep for you, the walrus said. I deeply sympathize, <laughs> holding a pocket handkerchief before his streaming eyes. Oh, I said, said the carpenter, you've had a pleasant run. Shall we be trotting home again? But answer came there none. This, this was scarcely, scarcely odd because they eat in every one. I like the lobster fish, for you see, he is a little sorry for the poor oyster. He ate more than the carpenter, though. You see, he held his handkerchief over his face so that the carpenter couldn't see how many he took. Well, then I like the carpenter better if he didn't eat so many as the walrus. But he ate as many as he could get. Well, then they're both unpleasant characters. At any rate, I'd best be getting out of this wood. Do you think it's going to rain? Mm. No, I don't think it is. I wish that under here. But it may rain outside. It may if it chooses. We no objection. Selfish things. <gasps> Do you see that? It's a rattle, not a rattling. As old as a rattle, quite old and broken. I knew it was. It's spoiled, of course. You think be so angry about an old rattle. What is it? I only got it yesterday, my nice new rat. Of course, you agreed to have a battle. I suppose so. Only she must help us to dress up, you know. I hope you're a good hand at pinning and tying strings, because every one of these things has got to go on somehow or another.
well, you couldn't have it even if you did want some. The rumor is jam tomorrow and jam yesterday, but never jam today. Come sometimes come to jam today. Oh, but it can't, you see? The rule is jam every other day. Today isn't any other day. It's dreadfully confusing. Oh, that seems after living backwards. It always makes me a little giddy at first. Living backwards? I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, but there is one great advantage in it. That one's memory works both ways. I'm sure mine only works one way. Oh, it's a poor sort of memory that only works one way. What sort of things do you remember best? Oh, things that happen the week after next, generally. For instance, there's the king's messenger. He's in prison right now. And of course, the trial doesn't even begin till next Wednesday. And the crime comes last of all. Suppose he never commits the crime. Oh, well, that would be all the better, wouldn't it? Of course it would be all the better, but it would be all the better if he's being punished. Oh, you're wrong there, at any rate. Were you ever punished? Only for fault. And you were all the better for it, I know. Of course I was all the better, but I had done the things I was being punished for, and that made all the difference. And if you hadn't done them, that would have been better still. Well, better and better and better and all the better. Take somewhere. Ah! Oh, oh, my finger! My finger! Have you pricked have you prick your finger? I haven't pricked it yet, but I soon shall. Oh, oh! Why do you expect to do it? Oh, when I fasten my shawl, the birds will come on them directly. Oh, take care! You're holding it all crooked. There, you see. That accounts for the bleeding. <laughs> Why don't you scream now? Well, I've done all the screaming already. <laughs> what would be the use of having it all over again? Uh, um, uh, I'm glad it's getting lighter. I thought it was night coming on. Oh, I wish I could manage to be glad. Only I can never remember the rule. You must be very happy living in these woods and being glad whenever you like. <laughs> Holy, it's so very lonely here. Oh, don't go on like that. Don't cry. Consider what a great girl you are. Consider what a long way you've come. Consider what a talk it is. Consider anything, only don't cry. One keep from crying by considering things. That's the way it's done. Why, I'll give you something to consider. I am just 101, five months and a day. I can't believe that. Can't you? Try again. <laughs> Take a deep breath and shut your eyes. It's no use. One can't believe in impossible things. I dare say you haven't had much practice. <coughs> Why, when I was your age, I used to practice for half an hour every day. Oh. Why, I've even believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Oh. Oh, kick your shawl. Oh, there it goes again. Now you shall see me put it on again, all by myself. Oh, then I hope your finger is better. I hope your finger! With a name like yours, you could be any shape, almost. Why is it that you sit out here all alone? Why, because there's nobody with me. They didn't know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's this wall is very narrow. Don't you think you'd be safer on the ground? Of course not. If I ever did fall, which there's no chance of. <laughs> but, but if I did fall, the king has promised me Oh, you didn't expect me to say that now, did you? But yes, the king has promised me out of his very mouth to... to... Send all of his horses and all of his men. Oh, no, I declare that's too bad. You've been listening at doors. And behind trees and down chimneys. Else you could. No, no, I haven't. It, it's in a book. That's a beautiful belt you have on. Or a cravat. 
I should have said. No. A belt. I mean, oh, I do wish I hadn't chosen such a subject. One can't tell which is his neck and which is his wife. Very provoking when someone doesn't know a cravat from a belt. I know, it's very ignorant of me. It's a cravat, child. Yes, they gave it to me for my unbirthday present. I beg your pardon? No, oh, I'm not offended. I mean, what is an unbirthday present? It's a present given to you when it isn't your birthday, of course. Well, I like birthday presents best. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. How many days are there in a year? 365. And how many birthdays have you? One. And if you take one from 365, what remains? 364, of course. I'd rather see that done on paper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, one second. You don't. Shall I tell you? What I mean is, there's a nice knockdown argument for you. Whoa, but glory doesn't mean a nice knockdown argument. When I use a word, it means exactly what I choose it to mean. Neither more nor less. The question is whether you can make words mean so many different the things. The question is which is to be master, that's all. Impenetrability, that's what I say. You seem very clever at explaining words, sir. Would you kindly tell me the meaning of the poem called Jabberwocky? When it comes to poetry, I can recite poems as well as any other poem. If it comes oh, we needn't come to that! The poem I'm about to recite was written entirely for your own amusement. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> I sent a message to the fish. I told him, this is what I wish. The little fishies of the sea, they sent an answer back to me. The little fishies answer was, we cannot do it, sir, because... I don't understand. It gets easier for a <laughs> I sent to them again to say, it would be better to obey. The fishies answered with you, man. Why, what a temper you are in. I told them once. I told them twice. They would not listen to advice. I took a kettle large and you fit for the deed I had to do. My heart went hot. My heart went thump. I filled the kettle at the pump, and someone came to me and said, The little fishies are in bed. I said to him, I said it plain, then you must wake them up again. I said it very loud and clear, I went and shouted in his ear. But he was very stiff and proud, he said, You need to shout so loud. And he was very proud and stiff, he said, I don't wake them if. I took a corpse from the shelf and went to wake them up myself. And when I found the door was locked, I pulled and pushed and kicked and knocked. And when I found the door was shut, I tried to get the handle, but... But! That's all. Goodbye. <laughs> of all the unsatisfactory people I've ever met. Of all the unsatisfactory people I've ever met. What? What? <laughs> May I help you with your helmet? <coughs> now one can breathe more easily. I see you're admiring my little box. My own invention. Eat clothes and sandwiches in. You see, I carry it upside down so that the rain won't get in. But the things can get out. Do you know the lid's open? I didn't know it. <laughs> All the things must have fallen out. The box is of no use without them. <laughs> you 
And guess what I should have done? Hope some bees may make a nest here. Then I should get the honey. But you've got a beehive or something like one fastened to the saddle. Yes. A very good beehive, one of the best kinds. The only trouble is, no bees seem to have gone near it yet. <laughs> the thing is a mousetrap. I suppose the mice keep the bees out. Or the bees keep the mice out. I don't know which. I was wondering what that was for. It doesn't seem very likely there'd be any mice on the horse's back. Not very likely, perhaps, but if they do come, I don't choose to have them running all about. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's well to be prepared for everything. That's why the horse has all those anklets around its feet. But what are they for? To guard against the bites of sharks. Now <laughs> <laughs> well, I must be going. I hope you have your hair well fastened on. Only in the usual way. That's hardly enough. You see, the wind is so very strong here. As strong as... Soup. Have you invented a plan for keeping the hair from being blown off? Not yet. But I've invented a plan to keep it from falling off. Well, I should like to hear it very much. First, you take an upright stick. Then you make your hair creep on it slowly like a fruit tree. <laughs> now the reason hair falls off is because it hangs down. Things can't fall upwards, you know. Flat of my own invention, you may try it if you like. <laughs> I'm afraid you've not had much practice in riding. What makes you say that? Because people who have much practice don't fall off quite so often. I've had plenty of practice, plenty of practice. all the same. <laughs> and I must keep going. <laughs> You're sad. Let me sing you a song to comfort you. Is it very long? Oh, it's long. But it's very, very beautiful. Everyone that hears me sing it either brings tears into their eyes or else Or else it doesn't, you know. <laughs> the song is called Sitting on a Gate. I'll tell thee everything I can, there's little to relate. I once saw an aged, aged man, a sitting on a gate. He said, I look for butterflies that sleep among the wheat. I mash them into mutton pies and sell them on the street. And if I were to find a way to feed oneself on batter, and so it will go on from day to day, getting a little fatter. And that's the way he gave a wink, by which I get my wealth. Very gladly will I drink your honor's noble health. I thanked him for the wish that he would share with me his wealth, but chiefly for the chance that he may drink my noble health. And now, if ever by chance I were to dip my fingers into glue, or madly squeeze a right hand foot into a left hand shoe, or if I dropped upon my toes a very heavy weight, I weep, for it reminds me so. The old man I used to know, whose look was mild, his speech was slow, his hair was whiter than snow, his face was very like a crow, with eyes like cinders all aglow, who seemed distracted by his woe, who rocked his body to and fro, who mumbled mutteringly and low, as if his mouth were full of dough, the summer evening long ago, a sitting on a gate. <laughs> and now I must leave you. Thank you for that song. I, I liked it very much. I hope so. But you didn't cry as much as I thought you would. Now for the Yates Square, and to be 
a queen. Now, now what is this on my head? Well, this is grand. I never thought I should be a queen so, so soon. And, and if I am to be a queen, I should think I'll be able to manage it in time. Would you tell me, please, speak when you are spoken to? But if everybody followed that rule, and only you spoke when you were spoken to, then you see nobody would speak at all. Oh, ridiculous. Why don't you see, child? What do you mean by if you really are a queen? What right have you to call yourself so? You can't be a queen till you've passed the proper examination. And the sooner we begin it, the better. I only said if. She says she only said if. Oh, but she said a great deal more than that, ever so much more. <laughs> So you did you know, you must always speak the truth, think before you speak, and write it down afterwards. I'm sure I didn't mean that. That's just what I complain of. You should have meant. Even a joke has some meaning, and a joke is more important than a child, I should hope. You couldn't deny that even if you tried with both hands. I don't deny things with my hands! Nobody ever said you did. She, she's in that state of mind where she wants to deny something, only she doesn't know what to deny. A nasty, vicious temper. I invite you to Alice's tea party this afternoon. And I invite you. Oh. I didn't know I was supposed to have a party at all, but if I am to, I should think I should get to invite the guests. We gave you the opportunity of doing it, but I dare say you've not had many lessons in manners yet. But lessons don't teach you manners. Lessons teach you sums and things of that sort. Can you do addition? What? One and 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 and one. I don't know. She can't do addition. Can you do subtraction? Take a look of a bone from a dog. What remains? Well, the bone would remain if I took it. And then the dog should come after and bite me. And so it wouldn't remain. And if it really did bite me, I'm sure I should remain. So you think nothing would remain? I think that's the answer. Wrong. As usual, the dog's temper would remain. I don't see how. Why, look here. The dog would lose its temper, wouldn't it? Perhaps it would. Then if the dog ran away, the temper would remain. But it, it might go different ways. Oh, what dreadful nonsense we are talking. She can't do sums a bit. Well, can you do sums? Oh, uh, I can do addition if you give me time. But I can't do subtraction under any circumstances. Of course you know your ABC. Oh, to be sure I do. So do I. We'll often say it over together, dear. And I'll tell you a secret. I can read words of one letter. Isn't that grand? <laughs> Only don't be discouraged. You'll come to it in time. <laughs> Can you answer useful questions? How is bread made? Well, I know that. You take some flour. Where do you pick the flour? Is it in the garden or in the hedge? Well, it isn't picked at all. It's ground. How many acres of ground? You mustn't leave out so many things. Then her head. She'll be feverish after so much thinking. She's all right again now. Tell me, what's the French for fiddle dee dee? Fiddle dee dee's not English. Whoever said it was. Well, you can tell me what language fiddle dee dee is. I'll give you the French for it. Queens never make bargains. I mean, queens never ask questions. <laughs> Don't let us quarrel. What is the cause of lightning? The cause of lightning is thunder. No, I mean the other way. No, you, once you've said a thing, that fixes it. You must take the consequences. Oh, which reminds me. We had such a thunderstorm last Tuesday. Last set of Tuesdays, you know. Oh, in our country, there's only one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a poor, thin way of doing things. Here, you see, we have days and nights two or three at a time. Well, sometimes in the winter, we take as many as five nights together for warmth. Well, then five nights are warmer than one night, I should think. Five times is warm. <laughs> of course. Humpty Dumpty saw it, too. He came to the door with a corkscrew in his hand. What did he want? Well, he said he would come in because he was looking for a hippopotamus. Now, as it happened, we had such a thing in the house that morning. Oh, is there generally? Only on Thursdays. Anyways, it was such a thunderstorm, you can't think. Never could, you know. And, and part of the roof came off, and ever so much thunder got in, and it all went rolling and rolling around the room, and great lumps, and knocking over the tables and things, and until I was so frightened I couldn't remember my own name. I don't think I should try to remember my name in an accident. What use would it be? Your Majesty must excuse her. She can't help saying general things, foolish things as a general rule. She was never really well brought up, but it's amazing how good-tempered she is. Pat her on the head and see how pleased she'll be. A little kindness and putting her hair in papers would do wonders with her. I'm so sleepy. She's tired, poor dear. Smooth her hair and lend her your nightcap and sing her a soothing lullaby. I forgot my nightcap. I don't know any lullabies. I must do it myself then.
me. I'm getting a bit sleepy too. <laughs> oh, what am I to do? Oh, up, you lazy things! I don't think ever in the history of England has one girl had to care for two sleep queens asleep. In fact, it couldn't have, no, because there was only one queen at a time. <laughs> oh, my beards and whiskers! Stand up, quickly! Along with the Red Queen, the White Queen, and me. So, so we love the glasses of the Dreaming 